in this video we're going to look at drawing cubic graphs. Now cubic graphs are graphs the highest power is cubed, so the highest power is 3. Um, what we get is we get a shape that usually um, looks like that or that. So this is a positive cubic graph and it's a negative cubic graph. So it's positive, it goes up from left to right. If it's negative, it goes down from left to right. So if we've got a calculator, same as a quadratic graph, um, we can substitute in wherever x is. If we put brackets wherever x is and type this in the calculator, we can just switch for any number that x is to fill out the grid. So if I wanted to put 2 in, if I wanted to find out what this is here, I put 2 into both of these into the calculator and that will fill out the grid for us. All we've got to do is change the number inside the brackets. Uh, we're not going to use a calculator here, so we're going to have to work it out for ourselves. So 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8, plus 2 twos, which is 4. So 8 plus 4, that's 12. 1 cubed plus 2 times 1. 1 cubed is 1, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. So 1 plus 2, 3. 0 cubed plus 2 zeros. Well, 0 cubed is 0. 2 zeros is 0. So this is 0. Minus 1 cubed plus 2 minus 1s. Minus 1 cubed is minus 1, because minus 1 times minus 1 makes plus 1. And then times minus 1 again makes minus 1. Plus 2 minus 1s, which is minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Minus 2 cubed, plus 2 minus 2s. Minus 2 cubed is minus 8. Minus 2 minus 2s, which is minus 4. Minus 8 minus 4 is minus 12. So then we've got our coordinates. And all we've got to do is plot them onto the graph. So 2, 12, 1, 3, 0, 0, minus 1, minus 3, and minus 2, minus 12. So we've got a curved graph again. It's going to kind of loop around and go back up. Okay, here's another example. So again, if you had a calculator, you can do exactly the same thing as before. Wherever the x is, you put the brackets and substitute in the numbers. We're not going to use a calculator. So 2 cubed is 8, plus 2 is 10, minus 4 is 6. 1 cubed is 1, plus 1 is 2, minus 4 is minus 2. Zero cubed is zero, plus zero is zero, minus four, minus four. Minus one cubed is minus one. Minus one is minus two. Minus four is minus six. Minus two cubed is minus eight. Minus two is minus ten. Minus four is minus fourteen. So again, plot that on the graph. Uh, 2, 6, 1 minus 2, 0 minus 4, minus 1 minus 6, minus 2 minus 14. And again, we've got the same kind of shape. It's a nice curve. It goes like that. So you can try this one, pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so if you use the calculator, we've got 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 minus 2. 2 cubed is 8, uh, plus 6 is 14, take away 2 is 12. 1 cubed is 1, plus 3 is 4, take away 2 is 2. 0 cubed is 0, plus 3 zeros, which is 0 minus 2, so just minus 2. 
minus 1 cubed is minus 1, plus 3 minus 1s, so minus 4, minus 2, minus 6. And minus 2 cubed, that's minus 8, plus 3 minus 2s, so minus 8, minus 6, that's minus 14, minus 2, so minus 16. And again, plot it on the graph, so 2, 12, 1, 2, 0, minus 2, minus 1, minus 6, and minus 2, 6, minus 16. Join them up for smooth curve.